So you can't have movie night without nachos. And so with my nachos today, we're gonna to do a cheese sauce and a guacamole. One child likes cheese sauce, the other ch child likes guacamole, hence the two. So to start off with, we're gonna make the cheese sauce. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons of butter into the pan. And then we're just gonna melt it over a medium low heat. And then to that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour. This is just regular plain flour. And we're just gonna wait for the butter to melt and then we're gonna give it a whisk. Our butter's starting to melt, so I'm just going to whisk in the flour and then we're going to cook it over this medium low heat just for a minute or two, just so that the flour cooks before we add in our milk. If you don't cook the flour at this point in the butter, then you get a taste of raw flour in the cheese sauce, which really isn't pleasant. So you just have to be patient at the start and make sure you've cooked the flour through. I'm just going to keep whisking this until I can see the flour and butter mixture just starting to bubble a little. So now I'm just going to add cup, one cup of whole milk. You want to use whole milk with this because you want the creamy consistency that the fat in the milk provides. So I'm just going to continue now to cook this until it just comes to a light simmer and I want it so that the mixture thickens up and that it coats the back of the spoon. So our sauce is really starting to thicken up now. So it'll just be another minute or so and then it's nearly done. So you see this consistency now is really starting to thicken and that's what we're looking for. Okay, so our sauce is lovely and thick now, as you can see, perfect. Shiny and glossy and it coats the spoon. So that means that it's ready. So I'm gonna take that off the heat And then I'm just going to add a pinch of salt. And then we're going to add one and a half cups of medium cheddar. I find that medium cheddar melts into this better than mature cheddar does. So I think it works really well. So I'm just going to add our cheddar in. And then I'm also going to add in just a splash of hot sauce, not too much. and then our cheese will melt into the lovely creamy mixture. And our lovely creamy cheese sauce is done. Okay, so we're gonna leave our cheese sauce in the pan whilst we make our guacamole for our nachos. And it's super, super simple. So I'm gonna use the food processor for this. I'm gonna let it do all the hard work. So I'm gonna add one tomato, which I've chopped up, one large tomato. And then we're gonna do one red onion, which I've just roughly chopped, straight in. Then I've got one red chilli and I've taken the seeds out of this because this is for the children as well and I don't want them to be put off by the heat in it. So it's one chopped red chilli with the seeds removed. And I'm going to do a handful of coriander straight in. And then I'm going to do three avocados which I've literally halved just to do a little bit of the work for the food processor. So it's gonna go straight in. And 
You need ripe avocados for this as well. If they're not ripe, you tend to end up with a stringy guacamole as opposed to a lovely smooth mixture. And then I'm going to add the juice of one lime. Straight in. And then last of all, I'm just going to season with some salt and pepper. Okay, so everything's in. Let's blend it together. that's everything combined so we want a nice chunky guacamole we want to see everything that's in there so now it's time to assemble our nacho dish so I found this amazing dish online which is great because it's got the large dish for the nachos and then these two little side dishes which are removable for the different sauces so I'm just literally going to pour some of the cheese sauce which is so lovely and smooth into one dish. The cheese sauce is my son's favourite and the guacamole is my daughter's favourite. So we've got cheese sauce and now we just need to add in some guacamole. This just looks amazing. And there we have it, my nachos with cheese sauce and guacamole.